We all know Sims as the peaceful PG family simulated game, but that is bloody boring. So I decided SimCity needed Fill me anus! Don't ask me why he's wearing a Boba Fett helmet. He's a bit of a fucking weirdo. Why don't we start off with getting Phil acquainted with some of his neighbors? Tre is this Travis Scott? <laughs> Thanks for coming, Travis Scott. Please don't send me concert tickets. You know what? SimCity isn't that bad. It's got rock stars, friendly neighbors, plenty of women, including Vivian, the local gilf. But unfortunately, it does have Jeffrey Landgrab, the local colonizer, and Cockblock. Oh, sweet, cool. I didn't even want to talk to you anyway. Hey, Vivian, I got something for you. You whore! Take that! Ha! Ah, it was bleach! Okay, so I think Phil needs a little bit of help fitting in, so I decided to take him to the bar. Because as we all know, there's nothing a bit of alcoholism can't fix. See, when he's drinking, he's happy. When he's talking to other people, he's angry. And it did seem like the drinks were helping Phil blend in. Until he pissed himself, of course. That was a tough one. Maybe we should stay away from the bar for a while. If you quit now, your liver will never get stronger. Ah, oh, for f sake, Phil. It was pretty clear at this point that Phil was struggling to adapt to a carefree life of socializing, which was causing him to spiral into extreme liver damage and non-existent bladder control. Until... Oh! Arabella Bruna. Hey neighbor, we just moved in down the street. I hope you'll come by when you have a moment. This was the perfect opportunity for Phil to drop some game on the new sim in town. Someone who had not seen him piss his pants on four separate weekdays. Ugh, not gonna lie. Kinda feel like I got a bit catfished here. Eh, whatever, you'll do. Oh, where's he gone? Where'd you go, Phil? He just went into her house? Win in Rome, boys. Uh, thanks for letting me pee near your toilet. Did you want to go on a date or something? Being the romantic type, the park was the perfect place for immediately ditching your date. But after a while, Phil and Arabella got to playing some chess and chatting to one another. That was until Phil decided he was hungry and ditched his date again. Look, he's made like eight burgers as well. Are you gonna eat those all yourself? Wow, what an amazing date. I'm sure we'll be seeing her again. Following that raging success, I discovered that Sims had a first person view. And obviously, I jumped at the opportunity to get inside my anus. I'm gonna go talk to some people in first person. This looks trippy as f. With this new perspective, I could learn what really made him tick. And that is Jeffrey Landgrab. Don't listen to anything this little shit stays. He stole the lands from the indigenous peoples of this land. You know what you f***ing did, don't look at me like that. Oh yeah, see? F***ing hell, this dude's a menace! We could not keep letting him get away with these devious schemes of his. So Phil headed to the gym to prepare for the next encounter. No, working out isn't too bad. Oh, you're talking to me. Oh, I didn't think you knew I existed. Hello. Oh, she's stopping, she's stopping the, the treadmill to talk to me, I think. Oh, no, see you later. Hey. Look that one. Although very brief, this encounter gave Phil an air of confidence that he could actually talk to other females. See? And sometimes it can get hard. Not all the time, though. Oh, no, that has not gone well. Okay, never mind. Let's get back to the gym. Oh, look who's f***ing here. This is stealing all the goddamn land, you dick. Are you watching a lobotomy on television right now? Is that what's happening? Can you not? Can you? Can, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm just trying to watch this lo lobotomy. What is your problem? Stop, stop, please stop. I'm, I'm gonna have to. What? Who, who are these people? Oh shit, stop, everyone, stop now. Stop, stop, it's so overwhelming. Travis, save me. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> Playing hard to get is paid off. Phil, you naughty bastard. But little did SimCity know, this was merely the beginning of Phil's ambitions. Because the word going around the streets says that Phil's arch nemesis, Jeffrey Landgrab, and his wife, Nancy, have been growing estranged as of late. Which presents Phil Mianus with the perfect opportunity to plot a scheme of his own. What does this entail, you ask? Why, it's quite simple. First, we call Nancy Landgrab and ask if she wants to catch up. A seemingly innocent suggestion, but an offer she cannot pass up to see Mianus. While conversing, I shall begin teasing- Oh. Hang on. Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. You adopted a child? Wait, what? Oh my god. Okay, let's just get back to the plan. Oh. Alright. Is she... Why is she going into my house? Well, that was easy. But with Nancy now in his house, Phil was struggling to seal the deal. And his frustration was mounting. And that's when the unthinkable happened. Jeffrey had fooled me. He had used Nancy as a Trojan horse to infiltrate my household and access the power grid without raising an eyebrow. At least, that's what he thinks. See, I've been one step ahead of him this whole time. And he has fallen straight into my elaborate trap. In April of last year, I'd begun sprinkling the seeds of doubt in Jeffrey's marriage. Watering them. Nurturing them. Caring for them. Because 
in actuality, there is no pain more insufferable than that of the mind. There he is! Fuck him up! I'm winning this fight. Ah! We've headed over to Arabella's place because I want to figure out what's going on with this child and nonsense. Oh my god. I'm gonna pipe your goddamn mother now and you, you can't do anything but watch. If you hear screaming, kid, it's your mother. You might want to turn the volume up a bit louder. She's a bit of a screamer. Oh my god! Yep. That was some good fucking... Your mother, your mother knows how to do it, son. You know, in Sparta, they used to throw their kids off cliffs. Um, and I'm, I'm not saying do it. But I'm implying it. It was clear that this road was only heading one way. And as much as Phil had a disdain for this child, it was time to earn some real money to help out Arabella. Phil's going corporate. He's settling in. This was an exciting time for Phil. He finally had the chance to earn enough to live the good life. Sure, the work was menial and insignificant, but his enthusiasm was plowing him full steam ahead and his superiors were eating it up. Another day, another opportunity to live life to the fullest. It was hard work for sure, but he enjoyed finally being given a purpose to work for. And at the end of the day, he still had enough time to watch his favorite shows before heading to bed. Oh, what a lovely morning, isn't it? Off to work. Although it's not ideal having to work all day every day, at least he had the weekends to look forward to. And God damn it, he was going to use them. Phil's throwing a party. It's the bloody weekend, lads, and it's time to party. Hell yeah. It's party time, bitch. Who let that kid in here? Oh, child servants. Now that's a good touch. That's so cost efficient as well. I don't know why I haven't thought about that. It's quite therapeutic in a sense, not having to worry about anyone's problems. Just relaxing, drinking, and having a good time. Hell yeah, thanks for coming everyone. We'll see you, we'll see you tomorrow. On Sundays it's even better. It's Phil time. You can just be Phil. Oh, this is my favorite show actually. Oh, stuff that turkey, you goddamn, oh, you dirty, dirty old woman. God, the things I'll do to you. Hello? So, oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were standing there. Ah, yes. The weekend. Oh, yeah. This is the life. And with a blink, it's back to the old grind. All right, guys, another day in the life. Let's get this bread. Yeah, it's nice to have some days off, but you can't always have fun. Like, maybe it would be nice to see Arabella more often. Oh my god! Now, woman. But that's the name of the game. Eat, sleep, repeat, lads. Get it done. Bosh. Then again, sometimes I wonder, is this really all there is to life? Stupid f***ing work, man. Make me goddamn file taxes. Oh, 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 Karen, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll f***ing file that shit, you little whore. It's all good. Just keep your head down, Phil. I'm sure it will all work out. Alright. It's, it's hump day, I guess. Uh, we're, we're, we're almost broken the back of it. Would I rather be doing something more meaningful? Of course I would. But can't be worse than yesterday, though, am I right? And it's not like I could just quit. Then how would I pay the bills? Anyway, I should go check up on Arabella and the kid. What the f***? Did you get another kid? Oh my god, you did. Jesus Christ, how's this one growing up so quickly? I thought it'd just been a week. But it has been literally 10 years. I'm out here busting my ass off 9 to 5. And you just you just decide, oh, I'm just gonna have another fing kid. I'm just gonna oh, who's gonna pay for it? Oh, I guess I guess fing Phil's gonna pay for the fing kid. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore that kid. It's not mine. It's not my kid. Stop fucking adopting kids. God damn it, Phil. Focus, man. You can't, you can't just let it run all over you, you like that. You gotta, you gotta do something. You have a backbone for God's sake. Something's gotta change and it's, and it's goddamn changing now. I'm quitting. Tell Karen she can shove her extremely veiny legs up her ass. I'm quitting. Woo! Phil's free, baby! And now we can finally get back to being Phil. Yeah, one drink, please. It's Phil time, baby! Oh, hang on a second. I'm st no, no, no. We, we, got, we, got a, we got a problem here, mate. I thought I forgot about you, you little shit. Oh, shit. I've paid myself. All right, you little rodents. I'm drunk, I'm filthy, and I'm angry. And I'm making it your problem. Uh, is there anything good on TV? Uh, could you cook me up some, some good, like an omelette or some shit? I just, got, I just got to watch this. Hey, hey, Arabella, what's up, man? How was work? Yeah, I mean, uh, work was good. Yeah, yeah. Lots of, um, lots of business today. Lots of, um, uh, dollars do doing dollar stuff. I'm trying to watch the show. Could you please, could you please, could you please shut it? For God's sake. Oh, this looks interesting. Welcome to Watch Mojo Top 10 Ways to Murder Your Girlfriend and Claim the Life Insurance Money. Laura.
Oh, <laughs> cool guy. Yeah, that's it's so weird. Hey, Arabella, did you want to come for a walk with me at the beach alone at night time? Where are we going, you say? Um, don't worry about it. Just I think there's just some nice like, you know, water over here. <sighs> what have I done? Oh, trains. Oh, fuck. Oh no. The kids. Knock, knock. Hey. What are you up to?